Welcome to Excel 2010 Expert Level 1, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to begin by learning a lot more about formulas and functions, including the different function libraries that are available. We will learn about the difference between relative and absolute references in our cells. We'll learn how to create named cells and named ranges and work with the name manager. We'll learn how to reference values on other worksheets. And we'll begin looking at all the different functions that are available in Excel. In today's class, we're going to start with the text functions, including exact, concatenate, len, left, right, mid, find, search, substitute, replace, and trim. And that's just the beginning. This class is designed to be used with Excel 2010, part of Microsoft Office 2010. If you're using an older version of Excel, you should visit my website at ExcelLearningZone.com and look for my older tutorials covering Excel 2000 through 2007. If you're using Excel 2007, you should have little difficulty following along as most of the concepts covered in this course are the same. If you're using an older version like 2003 or earlier, you really should either upgrade to Excel 2010 or purchase a tutorial for your version of Excel, which again you can find on my website. This is an expert level course for Microsoft Excel 2010. This class was designed for the user who has a good amount of experience with Excel and has completed all five courses in my beginner series. If you haven't taken my beginner courses, I strongly recommend you at least go to my website and look over the outlines for them and make sure that you understand all the concepts taught in those classes. Level 1 covers all the basics, how to move around in Excel and use the different menus and enter and edit data. Level 2 is mostly about formatting data, cell formats and such. Level 3 introduces you to functions and inserting illustrations into your spreadsheets. Level 4 covers charts and tables, making graphs and such. And level five has lots of miscellaneous topics like inserting texts, working with header and footers, borders, and lots more. If you start working with today's class and you find yourself not understanding any of the terminology, again, I strongly recommend you go back and take the beginner classes. My courses are broken up into four different groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Excel. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The Expert Series, which is what you're watching right now, is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Excel. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes did and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. After you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You learn how to record macros, build user forms, create your own templates, and many more advanced features that not everyone will use, but they really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your spreadsheets. And finally, my developer level courses will teach you how to program in Visual Basic for applications for Microsoft Excel. This will allow you to create Excel based programs for your users, automate your spreadsheets, and integrate Excel tightly with the other Microsoft Office applications. Each of my series are broken down into different levels. For example, the beginner series contained five different levels, which you should have taken previously. This class is the first level of the expert series. Each level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Excel, building on the lessons learned in the previous levels. When you've finished all the expert classes, move up to the advanced series, and finally, the developer series. Now let's take a more detailed look at exactly what we're going to learn in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn more techniques for working with functions and formulas. We'll learn about the function library, the different groups of functions. We'll learn about the auto sum feature. And we'll learn about string concatenation. In lesson two, we're going to learn the important difference between relative and absolute references. In lesson three, we're going to learn about named cells and ranges and how to use the name manager. In lesson four, you'll learn how to work with values on other sheets. You'll learn about sheet name, cell name, notation, how to copy and paste a link to a cell on a different sheet, 
and how to create a summary sheet to gather information from the rest of the sheets in your workbook. In lesson five, we'll begin working with text functions. We'll learn about exact, we'll go over concatenate again, we'll learn left, right, mid, the length function, find and search, and I'll show you how to separate first and last names if you've got them in the same column. In lesson six, we're going to finish up with text functions. We're going to learn substitute, replace, and trim. If you need help with the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post your questions in the Excel Interactive Student Forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or online in my web theater, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos if you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and any other comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching your lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting excellearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same spreadsheet that I make in the video. Build a spreadsheet with me step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample spreadsheet. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forums. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Excel might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use.